Hey guys, welcome back. So for today, I'm gonna to be doing a video that is very laid back, requires very little talent and skill, because today I'm gonna to be trying foods that I saw on TikTok. I know it's not the most creative thing that I've uploaded, but these days, what you get from me is the best that you're gonna get. Before we start, as you can see, I am in a new background and that is my new bedroom. I just posted a room makeover last week. If you guys missed it, I will leave it in the description box down below for you guys to check it out because it is amazing and I love it and I'm so proud of what we accomplished. Today's video, on the other hand, is gonna be very simple yet Good for the soul. I've seen a couple different snacks that people try on TikTok that are supposedly super good. So I'm gonna be trying to make those today. The first one is a little bit more intricate. I think it's the most intricate out of all of them. And that is because we're gonna be making a copycat recipe for the Starbucks pumpkin cream cold foam. Listen, I don't know what Caucasian woman got into me, okay, but pumpkin spice cold foam, bitch. I've never been a pumpkin spice latte girl. I've never even really been a fan of pumpkin, but I don't know. I seriously, like, I don't know what Caucasian woman got into me this year because I, it's all I think about and it's not cheap. <laughs> so I figured I would try this out. I have my ingredients in front of me. I need coffee this morning. I haven't had my coffee. So Hopefully this is good. Hopefully that satisfies that craving. So I'm basically just gonna mix it in this cup and put all the ingredients in here and then whisk it together. I found that when I used to make like my whipped coffee, my Dalgona coffees, I would put all my ingredients in the cup, whisk it, and it like instantly foams up. So that's like a little life hack for you. I got my pumpkin puree, one tablespoon. We're getting fancy and using some vanilla syrup. We're gonna do a splash and a little bit of pumpkin spice seasoning. I'm telling you, this method works. <laughs> and when it gets to a consistency like this, we're all ready to pour it over our coffee. So now I'm gonna take my cup, take off the lid. I got some Starbucks medium roast unsweetened coffee. I'm gonna add a splash of milk because I like mine on the sweeter side. And there you have it. There's your Starbucks at home. Let's see if it actually tastes good though. The pumpkin cold foam itself definitely needs some sugar. The vanilla syrup that I used is sugar free. So the feeling is there, but I feel like it just needs a little bit of sweetness because right now it's not sweet. Definitely needs some work but it's pretty good. So I added like a tablespoon or two of sugar and it's way better. This is really good. So the next snack that we're gonna try is one that I've seen all over TikTok and it is the jalapeno with cream cheese and takis. So basically I took a jalapeno and I chopped off the top, I gutted out the seeds and all of that. So now you're supposed to take some cream cheese. I just got this like 98 cent, like great value because I don't usually eat cream cheese. So I wanted to get the least amount as possible. By the way, the pot is boiling water back there for our last and final TikTok food that we're gonna be trying. So I'm gonna take a spoonful Get my stockings that, that have already been opened for us. And here she is. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I don't know how to feel. So I'm just going to try it. Don't play with me right now. Whoa, I love jalapenos. Oh my God, this is so good. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten if you like spice. So good. So the last TikTok food that we're gonna be trying is this flaming hot mac and cheese. 
that I saw a bunch of people trying on TikTok and they said that it was actually really good and you know me, OG people that have watched me since the beginning, Chef Chunti is my alter ego. I love all things spicy, so let's give it a try. I have the pasta boiling already and then in like five minutes I'm going to add in this flaming Hot Cheese powder and we'll give it a taste test. So here it is in all its glory. It looks orange on camera, but in person it is bright red. Look at that. <laughs> I'm not really a mac and cheese person, so I might be a little biased and already not like it. And also, I just have a lot of feelings about this. Okay. You know what? It's actually pretty spicy. <clears throat> Didn't expect it to be like this hot. Is it good? Not really, no. Would I ever buy this again to make? No. I keep trying it because like I want it to be good, but this isn't it. I mean, there had to be one fail in the video. My mouth is kind of on fire because I had the jalapeno with takis and then this back to back and so I can't tell like which was spicy. I'm pretty sure it was the jalapeno but like damn my mouth is burning. So that's gonna be it for this week's video. If you liked it make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. I also posted my first ever ASMR video on my new ASMR channel so if you aren't already subscribed I will leave the link to that channel down below. But yeah I think I'm gonna spend the next like two hours on the toilet. Pray that I don't get an ulcer and pray for my stomach. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.